Hello Viri users, Alex here, Viri Guide. Welcome to the second sample of our Viri exterior workshop. In this workshop, I'm going to show you how we can work with forest pack in order to do nice uh, looking grasses here between the slabs. We're also going to add some gravel. And um, let's just explore those options of our Smart Viri workflow. So I'm going to click on this F for forest pack and go to library to select and those presets, gravel, loans, they come in, in automatically with the forest pack purchase. By the way, there is a light version of forest packs. So you can download it and use it for free. It's only will be uh, distributing on a flat surface. If you have some curvy stuff, you got to get the pro version. Okay, so I'm using the pro version, very handy. And uh, let's just select some grass, common grass, large. Or actually, maybe we can get this one detail. And after selecting it, we need to select a surface. Use large area, recommended camera clipping. So it's going to clip and show us only what we need to see. So voila. Now, what I'm going to do is actually use override here. So I'm going to go into my global switches and exclude this forest pack forest from that otherwise it's going to come out white and now I can actually click on the IPR and get interactive representation of my grass as you can see here the grasses are distributed everywhere we need to exclude them from the slow slabs so there's a way to do it I'm going to go down to areas and in areas I can click here as you can see it goes to exclude I'm going to click OK and choose those slabs all right so that's how it looks I actually have another camera camera 2 that can help me get the details here and um, yeah this is uh, this is looking nice but we need to uh, I guess for better representation, we need to render it. So I'm going to click render here and see how this whole thing goes. So I'm using a uh, filmic tone map in order to get the contrast. This is an old time technique in order to uh, just get those contrast in, uh, but I do render a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, a little bit higher gamma so that it will not be that contrasty. So adding contrast will be much easier than removing it. That's why I kind of make it on a lighter side in order to um, do the better coral correction later. Okay. And while I'm doing this, I'm using this filmic tone map just to see, to show me that I'm going in the right direction. But that's just a representation of how the whole thing going to look. Okay, so we can see those grasses are good, but not good enough. They're going through those slabs here. And um, just because they don't have small patterns, that's why uh, the smallest one is actually bigger than uh, this separation here between. So in that case, you can actually use um, something manual, something that is more, you know, tweakable and approachable. So we can go and see what are those little guys here. Okay, so I have those little grasses here. Just want you to see. Okay, we have different colorizations for them. And we have kind of yellowish in it. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good combo. And we have the little guy here which can go perfectly in between those small areas. Now earlier we had different techniques in order to define the areas so it will really populate everything tightly and we'll use the small pieces in order to get them into those little parts and use the big uh, pieces in order to cover larger uh, surfaces okay but now we have just one click we can do edge right here if we flip that select our surface 
when on the surface distribution we can select edge so it will really go in between those areas here okay so with this we still have you know it still doesn't is not making that perfect so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually replace whatever forest pack giving us with uh, with my geometry by the way you can get a lot of geometry from the V-Ray library if you go here into V-Ray Cosmos and you type in let's see oh there is update available okay that's good we type in grass you can see we have a lot of them those grasses that you can actually make manual if you need a smaller one you can just detach and create them okay so very easy to work with now I'm going to select my forest pack go into the geometry this is where the whole geometry is and I'm going to remove that now click on adding select your grasses select your geometry click, click add and click yes Okay, so obviously they came out a little bit small. Now what we can do is just click here on the empty spot and go to size. We can increase size for all of them uh, in our general scale. Okay, so let's do here 250 for instance. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think it's maybe messed up from the preset. So I'm actually going to delete this forest pack and start a new one. I'm going to click select here. And I'm going to do that again, remove that and add these guys right here. Click add. Yes, you can see it's all populated. Now, what we're going to do is we need to make them bigger. So we're going to go down to the scale, global scale option. Let's do 250. Okay. And now let's exclude this from distribution. All right. Now, let's make it Let's select the surface area and make it edge so it will be nice and tight in the edges and now since it's not dense enough we can increase the density here so let's go oops we can play around so the higher we go the less it is the lower we go the more dense it becomes Okay, now we can also use uh, the density here in distribution. So we can do full. It will really fill this whole thing up. And now let's just uh, do the exclude from our forest. Oops. Click OK, let's exclude that. And actually we can click render and see how the whole thing is going. So I can already see that it's really filling up this whole thing. Super nice, very tight, but uh, it's rendering too slow. So let's go and check out what we have in our uh, rendering settings, because I think it's meant for a higher resolution render so really quickly let's optimize it because we do work with lower settings when we're testing things out so bucket size let's do one and four this is good smaller buckets run faster this is a optimization trick now I'm gonna go to radiance map so this looks okay light cache obviously too much subdivisions since i'm doing 1080p we're gonna do 1080 for the subdivs right here 
and I think it will go a little faster all right so let's let's actually decrease because I saw it very dense so we can decrease slightly the distribution here somewhere here okay and now let's click render all right so we're getting a little bit faster results now let's see how the light cache is working All right, so while this render is going, I can already zoom in and see the super nice quality of this grass. And I can see a little bit through and I'm gonna put grass texture on it. You know, all grasses, sometimes you can see the earth through the grasses in some areas, it's not perfectly full. That's why I have those little areas here uh, to get this more photorealistic result of course before doing that you need to get as much as possible pictures of what you're trying to do because this is going to be your guide and it will give you indication if your grass is looking photorealistic like the photo or it's kind of off so when you're looking at the photo you can actually tell what needs to be improved okay I have a bunch of those photos in my class but uh, in this tutorial is just a quick view how you can set it up and from here you can later on start tweaking that okay so the grass is looking good a uh, couple of more things we can add is randomality and if we scroll down here to the transform we can do enable rotation enable transition translation and uh, enable rotation the first one was sorry was I think size translation rotation and scale so this one scale okay and you can say minimum maximum how you want it rotation uh, also let's do no rotation we don't want them really rotate side to side okay so we're gonna just rotate them on z-axis that's good uh, translation that's how they move and scale right here we can say minimum 10 maximum 75 so they actually not even reaching a 100 uh, percent uh, just because we were using the preset I think if we started from uh, fresh you will have to do that manually because it will those parameters will be off okay and last thing that I want to show you is let's do some gravel here I'm going to select my force pack again let's go to select we're going to do gravel I like white stone so I'm gonna do this limestone load and click on the surface okay so we got it here now very important to remove those areas but I can see they're not really intersecting because they're kind of sticking out but let's remove them anyways so let's go to the surface areas select that guy that spot so I guess this if we open the spot this object will be object 207 okay so we did the right exclusion so object 27 let's do object 623 exclude this guy exclude this guy super easy oops 663 and the last one okay now let's go and do select our surface where the whole thing has been distributed surface area and select edge okay so it's gonna go around the edge and we'll try not to intersect as much as possible with our objects okay so this thing is right in I mean you guys can test 
how this whole thing works with with the gravel by opening and introducing IPR so with IPR if you zoom in you can really see it takes time also need to exclude that force back force O2 from our render because we're using um, override in order to isolate it so forest let's remove that click ok and voila we can see those little stones already working their way into the gravel area now that being said i think we're ready to render a whole picture so i'm going to switch back to my camera here and uh, why don't we just let this whole th render run through and see what we get all right so the render was done let's zoom in i think the gravel needs to be slightly bigger but the grass is looking phenomenal here i like those little chunks that's kind of building up and um i like how they really you know not going through the stone really going around this edge option inside a uh, rail clone is pretty cool i mean this stuff's looking realistic okay some of them kind of coming out obviously it's not going to be a straight line but this is not something that's going through the object and that's that's what we're trying to achieve here um, those little areas that we see right here is actually going to be you know kind of dirt and grass obviously not all the grasses are perfectly stick into the to those slabs so from realistic point of view i think this is uh this is amazing results just within a few seconds we can get realistic gravel grasses and um, keep working on our exterior image so in the next tutorials i'm going to show you how we can do animation animation of the wind of those trees and forest pack all of this stuff exists and we're actually going to produce some animated sequences from that duplex scene okay so if this is something that you want to discover make sure to open up your emails and check out the next videos thank you very much for watching this is alex your beer guy talk soon ciao